Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. Um, I was disappointed with the last Call of Duty, not because of its functionality or the quality of the game that it released, because for what it intended to do, it did well. Uh, Black Ops 4, what, what, Black, what Black Ops 4 intended to do, it did well. But I was disappointed in it because it didn't have a campaign. Um, I have played every Call of Duty campaign since Call of Duty 1. Uh, so, so long ago. Um, and it, Call of Duty 1 was like one of those rare games that came out like back in the day when I actually had time to... and wish I had time to play games a lot. Or should I say I dedicated to a lot of time to playing games. Um, but I had very few games to play. So, like, Call of Duty 1 is that rare game in which, um, player discretion is advised. Um, in which I was able to play it on, like, every difficulty, since I had the time to just do so. Now I'm just going to be playing it in regular mode. Um, because I've got nothing to prove. Um, but yeah, I've, I've, I've played all of the Call of Duty games. Um, I've generally enjoyed all of the campaigns. Um, if I had to pick any specific ones I didn't like, um, I I'm sure there's a little bit of surprise that Advanced Warfare isn't on my list of, of Call of Duty campaigns I didn't like, uh, because I felt it did have some interesting story ideas. Um, the entire idea of the responsibility of war. Um, not to mention the uh, finale in which uh, your character uh, sacrifices his uh, arm uh, for the to for his replacement arm, his mechanical arm, for the uh, uh, purpose of defeating the villain. Um, but it's kind of been tainted by Kevin Spacey's legacy, uh, which itself has been tainted by his own actions. Um, I've enjoyed the the future ones, even like Infinite Warfare. Uh, I felt it had an interesting storyline with a focus on sacrifice. Uh, the only ones I didn't really take care, uh, really care for were Call of Duty Three, um, World at War, and Black Ops Two, which I think two of those games were Treyarch. Um, with uh, World at War, I didn't really care too much for it because, like, it just seemed to be going about the motions of World War Two storyline. Um, it did have some really awesome moments towards the end when you were, like, flinging mortar shells at people. Like, you're just, like, tapping mortar shells and then flinging them as, as if they were grenades. Uh, which was pretty awesome. Um, and then with Black Ops 2, I felt like the, there was all this build-up leading to, uh, the idea that, uh, somebody was going to hack all the security, uh, and take it over and destroy the nation because they've controlled all the robots and the drones but it takes like the whole game to get to like one big level where that happens um and then there was especially i believe i, f I believe it was that game in which there's a scene where you're like you're uh, you play as this character who's in uh in disguise uh spying on the bad on the villain and you're on the same stage as the villain and I'm like, okay, I'll just shoot the villain right now. And I do so, and it's like the villain has found out you're a spy. Uh, but he ends up killing that character at the end of the level anyway. So it's like, what was the point of all that? Um, but otherwise, overall, I've enjoyed the campaign modes. And I'm glad to see a campaign mode has returned to Call of Duty after Black Ops 4. Um, it's interesting what's going to happen. I've heard good things about this one. Uh, so... It's interesting that they're going, that they're kind of like rebooting the entire idea of modern warfare. Rather than like making a new title and then just rebooting, like the only character I believe that's really rebooted is um, Captain Price. Unless you play a soap, in which case, then it would be just a complete reboot. Um, and 
Okay. Alright, um, game, you don't have to provide subtitles for text. I can read the text. Echo 3 1 to Charlie 2 Actual. Go for Actual. LZ is in sight. Looks like our boys are on that time, Colonel. Although the game looks fantastic. Like, it definitely shows the AAA experience. And this is one of the things that I've especially liked about the Call of Duty development cycle uh, since it's become a three-year development cycle instead of, like, them trying to, like, just pump it out every year, which was terrible for uh, the series. It's terrible for, like, any game series, really. You're still clear to engage, but live fire on Russian military is prohibited. We cannot have an international incident. We guarantee the Russian army won't respond on this case. Understood, Alex. I suppose that was a decent yeah. transition. I'll be watching. We'll handle it. Get out of here. Get out of here. The fog of war. I wonder. We need to keep this on a tight loop. Barkov's men are moving the gas tonight. And what are the odds we run into General Barkov? Is my scope actually showing what I'm looking at? Don't think so. No, it is not. Okay. I suppose that's unnecessary, but it's a neat little touch when that always happens. Then, then you know they're really like pushing the processing power uh, to the limit when they got like the image of the scope going on. And then I've got a pistol with a silencer. Hearing two. Looking for us. Two mercs, no uniforms. Hey! Dosis! Waity! Bakajis! I vaguely understand some of that. Like when he said uh Yaslushim. I think that's uh where when he said I heard something. Post up on the ridge and let's get the lay of the land. Echo 3 1 to Blue Viking 5. Call for fire. Stand by for target confirmation. Oh, all right. Copy 3 1. Viking standing by. Also, so the area make sure there's no Russian army down there. You were coming in the main gate. Uh, main gate is. Right. Around three one. Confirm there's no uniformed army down there. Targets in the loading depot. Eyes on. Copy. Checkpoint. That's the entry. Vehicles on the move. Check the rail. Are we worried about Russians? Check the railway. Where is the railway? No Russian military presence. Call it in, CIA. Lulu Viking 5, this is Echo 3 1. Troops in the open, south gate. You are cleared hot. Roger 3 1. Target acquired. Weapons free in five seconds. Five seconds. Ah. Uh. That was awesome. Echo 3 1. Good effect on target. Viking is RCB. Good hunting. Much obliged, Viking. We'll take it from here. Okay. Where do we go? Lead the way, sir. Also, Captain Price isn't among us, so he's probably doing something else, or there's also the possibility that this mission fails. Consider it done. You mean do nothing? Although that's interesting. Uh, Vidi, that's uh... That means see. That means look. Okay. Yeah, Vidi Shneshta. I see something. Okay.
Although, this is definitely very cool so far. Why, hello, sirs. Although, that's... That's the interesting thing about first levels. It, that's something interesting about Call of Duty levels, then specifically first levels in general, is they're designed to be do two things. Uh, they're designed to introduce the story, introduce the gameplay elements, so they can't be so fast that it becomes... ...that it becomes difficult. Um, but at the same time, they also need to be bombastic enough uh, in order to, like, really start off the story with a, with a bang. Stay sharp. We're blind on this breach. No slow motion breaches. Oh, hello. Um... Ah, hello. Force out. We need to secure the gas before they move it. Well, I might uh, be right about the everybody dies thing. There goes one of the three. Aha. Take that. Uh, one of four. I suppose I should probably include myself in that count. And now you can actually feel as though the movement isn't slowed down by like a walking speed. Okay, it looks like there's that gunner. There's that gunner again. Oh, hello. Sounds like a good idea. Ah, hello. Oh, okay. Neutralize the fog of war machine gun with a frag grenade. So basically, you got an achievement for following orders. Take that. Greetings and salutations, sir. Ooh, let's mount. I got a visual on what, sir? Uh, but um, I've been playing a little bit of the uh, multiplayer. Not too much, because... Gas must be inside. Multiplayer is not my thing. Um, but like, like some of the some of the lines that that they say they're like, enemies are coming in over the in the damaged building, and I'm like, what building are you talking about at all? All right, so this kind of uh, parallels um, Modern Warfare One story, like Modern Warfare One. Oh, sorry, Call of Duty Four, I guess. Uh, Call of Duty 4's storyline had um, uh, your character is boarding a submarine uh, in order to find some nuclear weapons, only to find that the nukes were gone. Yes, I just panicked and emptied an entire clip into the wall. 
Good times. Good times. That worked, though. Ah, uh, much better. I got hit, but... Uh... Which area of the catwalk? Because I see a whole bunch of nothing. Ah, hello. Ah, hello. All clear. Let's get the power up. This almost kind of feels like a classic light shooter gameplay. Where you're just kind of like moving forward and like waiting for movement to like pass in front of you and then they're just like ah. Objective. Ah, fantastic. Lights coming on. Hey! We got a problem. That's the Russian army. Spetsnaz. We don't want to watch you. Markov's hired guns or Spetsnaz. We got Russian army care, and we need to bug out now. Oh. Command wants mission accomplished on this. Not our choice. Never is. Bring one out. Verify this is what we came for. We'll set the trucks for egress. Jackpot. The ID and the gas. Okay. Solid copy, 3 1. That's a nifty way of testing if uh, Roger that. Let's move the out. thing you're looking for is the thing that's there. Um. There we go. I was trying to figure out how to turn off the flashlight. A gunner seat, mind you, which probably implies that the other truck is going to be blown up by some means. Um, and that I will be shooting guys with my gun. Oh no, the other vehicle was destroyed. Who would have expected this? Oh, I didn't uh, get to be the gunner. And he dies. Nope, nope, that's the other guy died. Interesting. A lot of players at hand. So there are people that are probably stealing the gas. There are the Russians that had the gas, potentially. Echo three one to watcher. Alex, what happened? Uh, terrorist attack. Multiple Marines KIA. Gas stolen. We need evac now. Roger. Tracking multiple Russian forces headed your way. Sit tight. We're pushing to you for fast exfil. Watch her out. This operation is now compartmentalized. What the hell does that mean? Means exactly, I... Colonel. Those are my Marines. We need a QRF in there right now. That's not advisable. And that is not your call. Colonel Laswell. General, my men... Norris, give us a minute. This man... Looks like Norris has been chucked. But I'm... The Kremlin has suspended all deconfliction channels. The Sixth Fleet is pushing into the Black Sea, and chemical weapons are now in the wild. I was I was there. I saw the... I, I saw about the chemical weapons part. Right now, intelligence is our best weapon. We've tried intelligence. Get me a better weapon. Now we'll... We tried intelligence. Now we'll try stupidity. Where travels fast. Chemical weapons have fallen into terrorist hands. I mean, this is a video game terrorist about warfare in modern day, like... Okay. What kind of problem would they have aside from Russians? Just did. Roger, Garrett. Roger up. 
for the Garrick. Okay. But it's clear that they don't actually stop this attack. Possibly. Don't turn London into a war zone. Looks like we're on our own, lads. Let me see if I can fix this uh, brightness. It seemed kind of odd. There we go. That's much better. It's up, white van. Weapons in view. That's them. Save it to Raven. White van. And they've got. Weapons visible. Move it to intercept. And they've also got giant tanks inside the back of the van. White van. Left side. Go, go. Uh, you'll want to stay in the car. Oh, snap. Okay. Wow. That's much better. Seeing things in the right lights. Oh, hello. Nope. Nope. Aha. Oh no, nope. Somebody's shooting at me. Yes, sir, I am in cover. You don't have to keep telling me to go to cover. Oh, hello. The untold musical story. Triumph. The best show in town. London is known for its beautiful uh, for its musical theater. Ah. All right, so they have definitely done a... A very good job in regards to emphasizing chaos. They're in the buildings! What do we do? Mr. Saber 2, bookshop secure. Oh, no. Yeah, hello. Excuse me, sir. All right, it seems like there is so much chatter going on. The game has decided, you know what? Oh. We're not even going to bother subtitling most of it. Yeah, at this point, I would probably expect the army to come in. That ah, hello. Ah, holy cow, that's not very good. Ah, damn it. What was that? You were killed by a suicide bomber. Okay. Aim for the head. 
That seems important. Where am I? Okay. You killed a civilian! I was aiming for the guy way back there. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. There is- this is a crowded- This is a crowded scene. Okay, so that guy's done. Holy crap. What are you, sir? Okay. Ah, damn it. Raven Saber 2, officers down outside the Tanto building. Officers down. Wow. Now, I remember I was watching um, Retro Replays. Uh, Retro Replay did a uh, thing about. Luke, Luke. I see you. You want up? Yes, sir. Did a thing for um, <laughs> Call of Duty 4, Captain Modern Christ. Warfare. Um, you with me? And I, there was something that I noticed while watching them play the game, and I feel as though like Call of Duty has kind of become kind of a bit of a, a variety show. Like it, it, it approaches yeah, first-person shooters. Um, check those corners. Um, it approaches its uh, gameplay as more of a variety show, and that it keeps um, like the player uh, interested by varying up pacing, varying up the uh, strategy, the uh, purposes of the mission. Get it off me! Please, get it off me! Shrug, I need you over here. Help me! Help me, I'm not one of them! All stations, we have a man with a bomb strapped here. Keep your voice down. Look, open! Can you help him? I'm trying. Let me see my girl! It's going off. Uh, looks like he's going to be tossed off the edge. Yep. And thusly, we have that philosophical question. Um, if there's a train coming for a group of people, and if you change the tracks to switch it away from those people, but it's heading towards one person, and would kill that one person, would you change uh, the tracks? Like, you would actively be participating in that death of the other person, but otherwise you would let the other people die. Do not injure any civilians in Piccadilly, which is impressive because I uh, got knocked back for killing a civilian, but luckily I killed a civilian instead of injuring a civilian, because then it would count against me. In the first place, sir. They sent us in half fast. So everyone can just keep pretending we're all war. Yeah, like the fucking century, that is. Why have we got our hands tied? Let's just take the bloody gloves off and fight. Sir. Cool. We don't stand a chance in hell with these rules of engagement, Captain. They can tell us where, they can tell us when. Don't tell us how. My memory track of that cell for weeks. You were the actual answer, on this. Quite a bit, sir. Okay, go. You're with me. Except now that that cell is destroyed, um, he has absolutely no intel to offer. Except for maybe his gusto. You know Commander Kareem. We're acquainted. Use my name, or don't kill him. What is your message from Captain Price? Commander Kareem. Call me Alex. I'm listening, Alex. This is classified. Hello, Radan. Jazuli Alko. Go, cousins, get ready. 
Again, if you're going to make the text larger, you don't need to subtitle the text. Only Alcatala would do this. The Russians make no distinction between Alcatala and your people. And I make no distinction between Alcatala and the Russian army. They're both terrorists. We would never use these poisons. And help us track it before they... Before they what? Take it to Europe? Or America? We live like this every day. Commander, it's time to go. Who is this? Alex, this is my brother and lieutenant, Hadir. You are CIA? He works with Captain Price. Hmm. Then you kill Russians, yes? I have friends who can help us. Oh, sounds like there's going to be a deal to be made. Of course. My sister is in command. And the Russian army is still here. This occupation must end. That we can all agree on, yes? No. General Barkov's men control the city. We have plans to change that. We have no missiles, but we have our ways. If you stay, we can help you. But if you stay, you fight. But if you stay, you fight is an excellent line. I believe that's actually in the trailer. It is definitely a trailer line. Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.